Welcome to the George Mason University Library's Quick Search Tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn to use the library quick search to begin exploring the resources available to you. There are several ways to access the resources available to you from the Mason Libraries. One of the easiest is the library quick search. This tool allows you to quickly search many of the library's holdings and use powerful tools to limit your results to those kinds which will be most useful to you. To navigate to the library quick search, simply type library.gmu.edu into your web browser's address bar. The quick search is the default search on the library homepage. It allows you to search many of the library's resources and databases and the library catalog simultaneously. Imagine you are trying to find out more about economic development in and around the coal-producing areas of Shanxi Province, China. You might try searching for Shanxi Economic Development. Once you type it in, select the Quick Search button to see your results. This search produces 179 distinct results in the Quick Search, which is more results than you would probably want to evaluate. Given this, you will need to narrow your search. The Quick Search provides several tools for doing so. The first thing you will want to decide is what kind of resource you are looking for. In many classes, you will need to work with scholarly articles from peer-reviewed journals. These are articles written by scholars for the benefit of other scholars, which have been vetted by experts in the field before publication. In other classes, you might prefer to find books, newspaper articles, or some other kind of research. To narrow to articles from peer-reviewed journals, you may select peer-reviewed journals from the Show Only selection in the left-hand column. Selecting this narrows the results to 107, which is still too many to evaluate. Another way to limit your results is by date of publication. Unless you are doing a historical study, you will often want the most current literature on your topic. For these search terms, you will most likely want the most recent articles. So, let's search only for articles published since 2010. This narrows the search down further to just 35 sources. But, a quick glance at the results suggests that some are closer to what you are looking for than others. One additional way to narrow your search is using subjects or topics. Click the More Options drop-down and then select the topics closest to your research interest. If there are some topics you know you don't want to see, you can also choose to exclude these. Once you're done, click the orange Continue button. With this list of a more manageable length, you can now actually read through and determine if the articles are relevant to your research. Scanning down, imagine that you determine that the article Energy Saving and Emission Reduction, a project of coal resource integration in Shanxi Province, China, looks interesting to you. The next step is to obtain the full text of the article. You know that it is available online because the entry says Full Text Available. Click the View Online link to see the Mason Link Plus record. This shows you which database has the article you are looking for and provides you a link directly to the article. Click the Full Text Online link to see the article. This opens the entry for the article in the ScienceDirect database. To download a PDF of the article to read on your computer or tablet or to print it out, simply click the Download PDF link. This icon or link may be in different places depending on the database in which the article is indexed, so you may need to look around to find it. Once you have evaluated whether or not to keep working with this source, you will want to return to your Primo Quick Search results to see if there are any other sources that you would like to look at. 
The Primo Quick Search is one excellent way to search the library's resources for materials to support you in your research, coursework, or professional development. In this tutorial, you have learned to use Quick Search to conduct a basic search and then narrow that search down by resource type, by year of publication, and by subject area. You will develop similar skills as you learn to use other library search tools, like the Classic Catalog under the Books and More tab and the Scholarly Databases under the Articles and More tab.